everyone, my name's King Carva, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Legion. And I, I know, I know, it's been a while, like a month or so. I needed time to get things together, and I'm getting demoralized, I'm not gonna lie. Not to do subs isn't that much. But I am now moralized, I guess, to continue this series. To the, like, I don't know, gratuited, I don't know. Hopefully people like this. Anyway, we have a quest to go all the way to Ashenvale. Here. So, to spare you the time, I will see you all there. Let go! This doesn't look like Dark Shore anymore. Where are we? It's called Ashenvale. Yeehaw. Oh. Oh, hi. Big guy with a quest. But there's another, smaller person here with the quest to turn in. So we're gonna go there first. And it's raining. Makes it even better for recording, yes. Okay, let's do this. Hello. Good to see a new face around here. The forest crawls with Horde, but my assignment requires that I keep this outpost safe. I could really use someone who could put up a good fight. Whatever. Be careful. I am armed. Evanar and the other apprentices may not be much use in battle, but you look like you can more than hold your own. The Horde's scum across the road to the east at Brathren's Haunt need to be taught a lesson. Their new warlord, Garrosh Hellscream, has them up to no good. Feel like teaching them a thing or two? I'd come with you, but my assignment is to stay here, protect Arendelle's apprentices, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Farewell. Hello. There is a plant that grows in the old ruins of Bathran's Haunt, across the road to the east. The plant is called Bathron's Hair, and is known to cure ailments of the spirit. Now the Horde are harvesting the plant for their own evil schemes. There is a sick child in Astronar, and we believe that her illness is more than just physical. I promised my master that I would help seek a cure, but I am no fighter. Will you go to Bathron's Haunt and gather the plants? Okay, it looks like we're going to Bathron's Haunt, securing the plants and killing Horde. Freaking Horde savages. They don't know our way of life. They hate us, for no reason. It's not like they invaded our world or anything, no! They blame us for their atrocities. What do you want, ghost guy? These creatures, these so-called horde, they have cut me down in my prime and are harvesting my hair for their evil plans. Will you put an end to it, little worgen? I have overheard that herbalist speaking of something called wildfire across the, upon their table across the way. If you were to take this bottle of unnatural stuff and throw it at my course to the northeast, it would burn, and no more of my hair will grow here. I am already dead, and it is a small price to pay to stop them. I really want to be with the horde now, guys, eh? Savages! Why is an undead carrying ice cold milk? I'm confused. Far away. Okay, we gotta collect the leaves, kill the horde. I don't know. Orc Overseer. Well, I have found my target. Target acquired. Also acquired these targets right here. Hi, guys! Hi! Hey! Hey! Hey, everybody! Come to me! Everybody die! Oh, it's all green now. Why is it green now? The power of a tank, ladies and gents. The power of a tank. Gonna kill these orcs! Kill them all! Kill them quickly! Okay! Oh my god, wait, am I collecting the hair? No, I'm not. I'm an idiot. I'm being a moron. I'm being a stoop! Oh my god. Wait, wait, what's that read? It reads something. The maple-like leaves glisten with the promise of new life and the potential for deadly misuse. Yeah, freaking horde? Freaking undead? I hate the undead! Death to Sylvanas! Anyone who likes the undead is wrong! WRONG, I SAY! Uh, I'm just a, I'm just an alliance guy. That's what I do. 
That's who I am. I could never be part of the FILTHY HORDE! But I digress. It's just undead. Filthy undead. I I wait. That, that doesn't even do that much damage compared to... Wait. Wait. Look at the amount of damage. I'm confoozled. I'm confoozled. The one that cause that requires rage to 77. The one that makes rage, 298. Okay. Okay. That makes sense to me. Does, doesn't it to you? The thing I'm building up I towards to get closer. does less damage. But I'm not a. Oh. Oh, it's like an event thing, but it's not working. Okay. I see. Ah, uh, filthy horde. Finally someone to smash. Dude, if you're that sexually frustrated, just like... Just, just... Go to a brothel or something? Do, I'm assuming horde have those because they're savages. So... <laughs> I'm gonna piss off so many people. And it's great! It's great, I'm, a, I'm alliance all the way. Now we gotta go find this guy's corpse. Can we go stealth kitty? We can still go stealth kitty. That's a very good thing. We still have the ability to be stealthy about this. And then suddenly a bear! And just sit there, watching me kill her. This is fine. Okay. We gotta be a stealth kitty now. They killed an ancient. How do you defend that? They're just... They killed an ancient and are literally stealing his leaves for their own potions. Somebody, please, try to defend that. Please. Hello, fellow Alliance player. Hello! Okay, that guy was staring at me for way too long. Okay, see you back at the camp or whatever. Okay, I lied. Well, we're not at the camp because I forgot we had to talk to this guy. You have helped me return to the ground, Carvin. Now my hair will cease to sprout for these creatures. Better yet, I will be regrown all the sooner. Oh, that's nice. Okay, see you at camp. We're a bear now, and we're at camp. Congratulations to us. Okay, well, stop. Hold the still. The Sentinel's eyes you appreciatively for a moment. A job well done, Druid. If you're any indication of the quality of work and adventurers, we're gonna need to be seeing more of. We should have this war against the orcs and the horde taken care of faster than expected. Yeah, the Alliance should destroy the horde! Carvin, I have a friend who can make good use of your particular talents. His name is Talon, and he's an archaeologist. Hold still! Of sorts. Recently, he's been fascinated with the upheaval of the old city of Zaram and its treasures. If you're willing to lend him a hand, you can find him at the Black Fathom camp down the path to the west. Okay. I am have you gathered the Bathrin's hair, Carvin? The child's health grows weaker by the hour. Ah, you have the hair. This is a good first step. There are other ingredients that we will need, but the hair of the fallen ancients could well be the most important. I can, I could hope that whatever the Forsaken are devising from the plant will not be turned into a weapon. We simply do not have the numbers to renew them right now, especially with Maestro's post under attack. Quickly, Carvin. I'll put Bathron's hair in this bag, but you must deliver it to my master, Orindel Broadleaf. You will find him at Maestro's post, just south and down the road to the left. But beware, we have reports that the post is under attack from the Horde. Filthy Horde! Uh, we should go to the Strand first. It's probably a better idea. I will see you at the Strand. Okay, it would seem we've arrived. This is very good. Okay, Black Fathom Camp, huh? Bear form! I heard a tink. Was that you? I don't know. We gotta get all positioned. Hello, dude. 
What's that? You say Shial Sh Shaila Shaila sent you. The night elf brisk briskly rubs his nimble hands together. Very well. Let's get started. I would charge you with a task, dude. I was on my boat, skimming over the submerged ruins of Zaram, when Naga attacked me, surging from the water and tearing at me with their claws. I fled, and the rest, as they say, is history. I am an archaeologist of sorts, and I am attempting to recover artifacts of the lost city. Will you head out into the Zorm Strand to the southwest and recover any ancient statuettes you come across? They are the reason I have braved the dangers of Zorm Strand. Oh, Flymaster. Greetings, Druid. Our position here is a bit exposed given to the buildup of Horde forces to, forces to the south. Anything you can do to help is greatly appreciated. <sighs> there is evil lurking on the coast of to the west. The Zoram Strand is the resting place of the doomed city of Zoram. Destroyed during the Sundering and submerged beneath the seas, it's been lost to the Night Elves for ages. Lost and nearly forgotten. Now, the Naga have returned, and for what reason we do not know. But the reasons matters little. We must slay these fiends and throw them back to the depths. Indeed we shall. Although our position is exposed, we are safe compared to our friends inside Black Fathom Deeps. They stand mere feet away from the most deadly Twilight Hammer forces in the area. Speak with Sentul Aluwin and give them aid they desperately need. Okay, well, let's give them the aid they desperately need, shall we? Wolf, is that your personal? Is that your personal home, Wolf? Anyway, let's get started. Okay. And uh, let us continue to kill these horde. Why they call them horde? The Naga. The horde working with the Naga? I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, oh, I got a pattern. Little boots. Rar. Okay. Suddenly my name is gone. Oh, there it is. Carbon the Noble. Okay. Um, yeah. Kill these filthy, filthy savages. Uh, I apologize if the quality of the recording. And I've noticed while recording, that's why I just had to check the recording to make sure it was okay. That's why you might have noticed a bit of a transition there. Um, it's brighter than it should be? Not sure what the hell's that with, with that. But uh, OBS doesn't seem to want to work with me occasionally. But I do what I can. I do what I can. And uh, yeah, it's going well so far. So let's just keep going. Let's do this. Okay, um, kill these guys. You know, honestly, this is going to take a while. And I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. Well, I, I'm just here. And I notice a giant horde fortress with a night elf ship outside of it. What's with that? I'm, out of range. I'm confused. Anyway, once again, let you know if anything cool happens. Ooh, a chest! And it's locked. Okay, carry on. Okay, long story short, we've gotten all the stuff, and now, uh, yeah, we just haven't talked to the people with the Black Fountain Dapes, because oh that's a dungeon. God. Have you found many statuettes, Carvin? That's quite a few you have found. Thank you, Carvin. The old city of Zoram holds many secrets, and these statuettes may be the key to many of them. Cut this carpet from here to when I say. Oh, they're locked! No! Garvin, I'm in need of your help once again. I fear the ancient statuette secrets will remain forever hidden unless you find the key to their ancient locks. That key is a ring, the Ring of Zoram. It belonged to the rulers of this city before the waves of the Sundering drowned it. For years, the ring was lost, but the Naga have recently found it. Their leader, Ruzel, dwells on her isles on the northern edge of Zoram Strand. Please, Carvin, retrieve the ring for me. 
Okay. We got nothing better to do. What? what brings you here? Very well done, Garvin. Your actions on Zerum Strand against the Naga are commendable. I know your feat was not easily accomplished, for the strength and guile of the Naga is well known to the Night Elves. We know this, for we share a history with them. The Naga are cursed highborn Night Elves. Ten thousand years ago, Queen Ashara made a pact of desperation with the Old Gods to save her surviving, her surviving people from a watery grave. The Naga are the result of that pact. Good luck, friend. Okay, let's go find this biatch! See you then. Stealthy McStealth pants walking by all the Naga. This Nog is really far away, presumably on that hill. Woo woo! Whoa! She's all looking mysterious with the rain in the hill, and that's dope. Let's kill her on her rain in the hill, and I don't know what I'm saying. You know, these are really bad guards. Just, just letting you know. How do you see me, parlay? What are you talking about parlay? I'm gonna kill you. This isn't parlay last I checked. But then again, we might have different meanings of parlay. A strange code is written upon the inside of the ring in the language of the Night Elves. Okay, well I can't read that, so... Parlay! You know, I'm just realizing how tall night elf tents are. Like, they're not even wide. How do you sleep in them? They just have like a table in them. And pots. What's the point? Ah, whatever. It is said the Ring of Zoram is the key to, a, to any lock within the city. Do you have it, Carvin? You found the ring! Thank you, Carvin! Please, take this as payment, and know that your deeds today will remain forever in my memory. May the stars guide you. And that's literally it. Okay. Well... I'm thinking of ending this here. By the fire, I'll cozy it up. I love you all, and I hope I'll see you tomorrow. Peace!